check this out. I wanted to ask you about this air tank. Say, is this air tank yours? Look, see how there's a string of flags around this tank valve? It's just like the string of flags around your steel samurai there. I'm sure you noticed that to go diving, right? Like I said before, what else are air compressors used for? Scuba diving. Hmm? You used this to inflate that, inflate that, didn't you? A big puffy steel samurai. I think I hit the nail on the head. Didn't go so well. Oh, this is... On karma. This part's gonna be very important, everyone. Pay very close attention. You think you'd be a little bit more specific? The compressor was busted. Took the tank and tried to fill the samurai up with that. And then... BAM! You heard that, right? That sounded like a gunshot. Now, there's one thing I need to show you. Watch this very carefully. Now, you remember that thing that looked like Gordy? What Maya was saying was Gordy. Watch this. Right there. Tank and the Steel Samurai, you were trying to fill, fill up, go away. What happened next? Well, that happened on the 20th or so. A week ago. As far as I can see, Tank went right there! Tank went flying out into the lake. Find it. Bingo! Right there! Night before last. That was the exact. Took me four whole days to find it. The night before last. The night of the murder! Bingo! know about what happens. It's not all bad. We saw one mystery at least. Maybe we should go tell her. <laughs> there you go. There you go. 
show. Now we know about what happens to the serious, about the serious Gordy. to the woods. You should put on some heavy clothing. Settle down. That's actually a running game. Samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot who happens to be a friend of mine tried to fill it. He used his air tank, and when the valve blew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently, it made a pretty loud bang when it flew. There you go. The tank, all with the still deflated samurai, Go into the lake. At the same time, right there, a couple is taking a photograph of the lake. It's photo. Bingo. Sorry about that. Settle down. Before we do that, though, there's one thing I want to check first. Did you say you had information about the case? Please tell us the information you have. Heard the police around here 
were saying something about the witness. He said he's a caretaker of a boat rental place up the path here. on, I guess. Seem to be anyone around here at all. Very well. Caretaker Shack.
This part's gonna be important, everyone. You'll find out why. Anyway. See what I'm talking about. Actually, right now, I have not much to say. Two, two, eight. You're gonna find out what's inside that safe. In case you're wondering what I said, I said one moment. That means... Uno momento means one moment in Spanish. Yes. Anything to get this case solved.
moment. Something about this, sir? Yes. You know something about this? Yep. He's the other witness. Von Karma planned to call to the stand. The next trial. DL6. Gotcha! The DL6 incident. Actually, we want to ask you something, detective. Boat caretaker. You know the boat rental shop down in Gord Lake? The old man who runs it is appearing as a witness to one in the court tomorrow, right? Do you know who that old man is, detective? straight answer out of him. Hmm. 
said at first that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. Deal six incident. That was when Edgeworth's father was killed. I can't help but think it has something to do with this current case. Mr. Edgeworth forbade us from reading the file.
as soon as I can before I can Thing I should do first. Let's save. You're gonna see something very important. I guess it's time we face Edgeworth's past. Now. Into the records room. Ten years of files and ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find that DL6 stuff quick. Fifteen years ago, both me and Edgeworth were both nine years old. We're almost through with both through with fourth grade when he suddenly transferred. Just DL6. gonna go to all of them. Do you have any data on the victim? Edgeworth's father? Gregory Edgeworth, age 35, defense attorney. If he were still alive, he'd be 50. He had lost that day's case in court and Got into an elevator with his son, Miles. Yes. He was in the elevator with his father. But the angle, the angle of the bullet and other evidence could not have been a suicide. A murder weapon, a pistol, was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. It's just like this current case. What's going on here? Case summary. First, I had to get a handle on the main facts, like a summary. December 28th, 2001. Exactly 15 years from the day after tomorrow. So in two days, the case is closed. The incident took place in the elevator in the district courthouse. Looks like it. There was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. Part of the court building collapsed and all the lights went out. Mm -hmm. 
At that time, three people were trapped in the elevator. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours? True, Maya. There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator and the survivors were unconscious. One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That's Mr. Edgeworth's father. He said his father was shot before his very eyes. So Miles Edgeworth was one of the other passengers in the elevator. Now, time for you. This is going to be the most important thing. Any state on the suspect in there? Yes. The man arrested as a suspect in DL6 was Yanni Yogi. He was a clerk in the court, apparently. So it must have been the third person in the elevator. He was trying to innocent. To his defense lawyer Robert Hammond, the victim in our case. Right. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen oxygen deprived, deprived so much so much that he had brain damage. He lost all memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. Maybe closer than we think. I guess I know generally what happened in DL6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. No. Only the important stuff, Maya. Just take the stuff we think we'll need. Right. It's probably all we're gonna be able to find here. All that's left is the trial tomorrow. I wonder how it'll be testifying. Or how it'll be... How it'll do testifying. chance I'll actually continue tomorrow night if I have the chance to do so. Hopefully my power won't go out. If I'm unable to continue because of the storm, I'm probably going to continue sometime later in the week. Most likely probably around, probably around Wednesday or Thursday. I do plan to get this case done this week. I can personally.
course, we guarantee you that. Not sure when, though. Anyway, this is Sale of the Terror of 799, aka the Black Cobra. And I beat you all up. 